What's good, Gun Family? Urban Gun Reviews, and today on the channel, I'm gonna be doing my first thoughts and unboxing of the FN FNX 45 Tactical. Let's check it out. Alright gun family, so before we get into this video, I'd appreciate it if you help me beat the YouTube algorithm by liking this video, commenting on this video, and sharing it if you don't mind. All of these things help me to beat the uh, YouTube algorithm and it helps my video to get out there more. I appreciate it in advance. Let's get into this video. Alright, so we got the FN, FNX45, you see, got nothing in there. Safety check before, you know anybody get the commenting on it safe to check it so uh this is a gun that i've been wanting for a while and uh it was a little pricey it's a little pricey so i held off on it for a little bit and then um i i, I made the purchase uh, as you can see but uh, i really wanted this because i wanted to uh, get some more calibers uh other than nine millimeter um i got a few 45s uh, and I wanted a different one. This, to me, is just a, a really dope looking gun. Tons of features. Um, I just really, really fell in love with this. Really, from the first time that that I've seen it. So I was like, you know, let me, let me, let me, let me finally make this purchase. All right. So, um, like I said, this is the FN FNX 45. It holds 15 rounds of uh, 45. ACP we got a threaded uh, barrel so you could put a suppressor on there we got suppressor height sights so it means once you put a suppressor on there these sights will sit above your uh, suppressor so you'll be able to see uh, over it and through it um, this is a hammer fired firearm so we do have the hammer right there it does have a uh, ambidextrous safety as well as a ambidextrous slide stock we got your um your takedown lever uh you know standard trigger uh pretty nice size uh, mag release um a 19 uh it was 1913 rail you got front and rear uh cocking serrations so if you like to do press checks and and stuff like that um some nice texture on the uh the the grip um i like the texture all around what else do we got on here um that's basically it i mean from the you know just the eye view of, of the features it did come with two uh 15 round magazines um you get this this super dope case the fn likes to send out so you did get you know this this case for your firearm um it also comes with three extra uh back straps now this back strap is the one that i have installed on the uh firearm this is the, the same one but this one is more of a curved and this is more of a flat same texture though and then they send you two other ones which are the same texture one is curved and one is flat this is the curved one this is the flat one so they send you uh four back straps in total one install on the firearm which is pretty cool and they send you uh plates for your rmr i did i didn't mention that on him there is a cut up here uh, a slide cut for an RMR so if you want to put a red dot or something on there which I do plan on doing I want to get the Leopold not the Leopold I want to get the Holosun a Holosun something C maybe 509C maybe that it's the joint this um, this uh, it, it runs off solar power and stuff like that I want to get one of those because I like those I like the look of them so um, that's probably going to be one of my next purchases and they give you your uh, slide plates for your armor as well as extra screws and they give you uh l keys in there for that um what else they give you in here magazine you get your gun lock 
that's basically it. You get your manuals and stuff like that. But definitely excited to uh, go out and shoot this. This is a beefy gun. It's just nice and, 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 and full size. You know, it gives you that, that full feeling to it. Man, like, this right here is a powerhouse. And hopefully it lives up to the hype that I've been seeing. Um... I, you, know, you know, when I watch these videos before I buy a gun, I do a lot of research on them. I haven't seen many people say that they don't like this. You know, I mean, there's been a few. I ain't going front. There's been a few. But I haven't seen many say they, they, that they don't like this. So I'm really, really, really excited to um, to shoot this, man. Like, for real. Uh, I want to get a suppressor. But it's not nothing, anything that really I'm like, oh, I got to get a suppressor tomorrow or something like that. And ATF ain't going to give me one tomorrow anyway. Um, off top, you know, there's a couple things that I, I, I don't really like. Not deal breakers for me, obviously, but some things that I don't like. And I'll, I'll let y'all know about that in my full um, review. But um, I'm really feeling this. Uh, this is my, my second FN pistol and honestly i think it's my last unless they come out with something else that uh i really want to hop on but i don't think that there's and i know that there's nothing right now that they make that i'm like i, I want that you know so um i already have a 5.7 but not the ruger i mean not the uh, fn i got the ruger i'm not really looking to get the fn 5.7 it's not really like something I'm, I'm looking to get but i do have the uh fn 509 tactical i do have that and um I, I like that gun besides the trigger it's a solid gun and i got the uh armor on that as well as a uh, light um on there and i'll do the same for this one i was stuck between the uh fde and the black and i had all intentions on getting the fde and it was available um, I went to two different places to get this. The first place, um, the first place, it was more expensive than than I it was supposed to be, I, in my opinion. You know, I had took pictures of these in the case. Um, I held them, you know, a few months back, and the price was like a hundred, maybe hundred fifty bucks more than it was when I took the picture. And I'm like, you know, what, what Fat Joe say? Price went up. Yesterday's price. It's not today's price. Yesterday's price is not today's price. So the other place that I went to was right across the road. And I was like, I might as well stop in there, you know, after I left the first spot and see if they got it. And if it's cheaper, then I'll grab it here. And it was. Like I said, I had all intentions on getting the FDE. Um... And then I, I just changed my mind at the last second. I was like, you know what? I'll go with the black. I'll get the black one because I got the FDE uh, 509 Tactical. So I was like, I might as well just get the black joint. So now I get all the black accessories, my black armor. I'll get the black uh, light for it and everything. And this would be dope. So I plan on getting maybe two, three more magazines. So I at least have five magazines. That will give me like uh, 60 shots or something of um, a 45 with this, um, I'll probably get a, a suppressor down the road. But um, I'm really uh, happy about the purchase. Really uh, anxious to go shoot this thing and see what it's really about. But um, I saw I ain't trying to hold y'all all day. Um, if y'all got any questions about this or if you got any comments, if you uh, own one or you shot one or you know somebody that got one and you know you want to tell me your opinion about it, then definitely hit me up in the comment section and let me know what you feel about this gun. Was it a good purchase or was it a bad purchase? All right. But it's Urban Gun Reviews. If you like this video or you just enjoy my content, let me know by clicking the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you can do that easily by clicking on the AR-15 in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. If you're not following me on all my social media sites, all that information is available in the description. And as always, gun family, stay blessed. Stay strapped. Let the two, two, three, two, two, we gon' let one of these